Welcome to Assateague Island National Seashore, here on the mid-Atlantic coast of the United States, in one of the world's most dynamic places. I'm Bill Holslander, and I'm the Chief of Resources Management here at the seashore. Assateague is a barrier island on the move, shifting and reshaping itself. Each ocean wave or gust of wind alters these shores. Drastic changes can happen overnight, when storms make landfall here. Overwash moves sand across the island into the marsh and bay, making new habitat as it goes. Few places offer such a range of environments within such a short distance. Ocean beach, arid dunes, pine forests, fertile marshes, and sheltered bays. Let's take a minute and explore Assateague Island. This is the ocean beach along Assateague Island National Seashore. It is the destination for more than 2 million visitors a year who come to the park to swim, surf, fish, hike, and relax. The beach is influenced by tides, wind, waves, and shifting sands that change on a daily basis. As we move from ocean to bay across the barrier island, the habitat gradually changes. Here we are entering the dunes and grasslands. Storm waves and wind carry sand into these areas, which both builds and erodes the dunes, while the roots of the beach grass and other plants anchor the sand in place. These unique plants have adapted to thrive in the harsh, salty environment. Where Assateague Island is widest and most stable, a slightly higher elevation allows loblolly pines and other hardwood trees to grow. This forest serves as a sheltered habitat, providing an ample food supply. The freshwater ponds found here are shaded from evaporation, and they provide refreshment to many thirsty animals, especially insects, snakes, and frogs. Part water and part land, sometimes underwater and exposed by tides, the salt marshes along Assateague Island comprise a huge portion of the park and provide an important nursery area for young fish and crabs. Tidal creeks meander through these marshes and provide a great opportunity for kayakers to explore this habitat. This is also a place where wading birds, geese, and migratory ducks stalk fish in the shallows and where you can often find the wild horses grazing the marsh grasses. As you look into the distance where the salt marsh changes into open water, the bay appears on the western edge of Assateague Island. Parts of this shallow bay are covered in sea grass, where fish and crabs hide and search for food. Local people have fished these bays off of Assateague for hundreds of years to support their families. Even if you are not able to visit Assateague Island in person, I hope this module will provide you with a sense of the natural processes of wind and water and the unique animals and plants that live here along Assateague Island National Seashore.